offering the highest quality in dental care. Desert View Dental. In your entertainment news this week, the lead singer of Soundgarden, Chris Cornell, has died at the age of 52. Cornell, who also sang for Auto Slave, was found unresponsive by a family friend who forced his way into the MGM Grand Hotel bathroom in Detroit. Police are investigating his death as a suicide. Medics were called to the scene where the musician lay on the bathroom floor with a band around his neck. He was pronounced dead shortly after. Cornell was in Detroit performing with Soundgarden on a U.S. tour that kicked off last month. He leaves behind his wife Vicki and three children. The Grammy-winning rocker had performed Wednesday night at the Fox Theater in Detroit. He ended his performance with a cover of Led Zeppelin's In My Time of Dying, which was a change in the lineup. Jay-Z and Beyonce are a billion-dollar couple, according to one estimate. Forbes puts the combined wealth of the married superstars at $1.16 billion. The magazine estimates Jay-Z's fortune at $810 million and says Beyonce's has amassed $350 million. Forbes says most of Jay-Z's money is involved in Rock Nation and his other companies. Both the rapper and the singer also have a significant stake in the title streaming music service. Jay-Z signed a 10-year pact with Live Nation to partner on concert events. Variety reported last week that the deal is worth $200 million. Paul McCartney has confirmed he has a role in the upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. The 74-year-old rocker surprised his fans when he posted his character poster on Twitter on Saturday, simply captioning the unexpected announcement, hashtag Pirates Life. McCartney is in full hair and makeup in the poster with long bedraggled hair, a pirate hat, and his dirty hands clutching a pack of cards. It's unknown if his role is a cameo or a much larger part, but he he is credited as jail guard number two in the movie, according to film database IMDb. This has been your entertainment this week. I am Alicia Cook for News 46.